Parallel programming helps us divide a task into different parts and work those parts simultaneously. An example may be that we have a set of credit cards and we want to process them simultaneously. Or if we have a set of images and we want to apply a series of filters to each one. We can also do this by taking advantage of parallelism. The main benefit of parallelism is saving time. Time is saved by maximizing the use of computer resources. The idea is that if the computer allows the use of multi-threading, we can use these threads when we have a task to solve. Instead of underusing our processor, using a single thread, we can use as many threads as we can to speed up the processing of the task. Parallel programming is vitally important for systems that must process a huge amount of data, since more and more data are available to different programs. For example, on Facebook, approximately 240,000 photos are uploaded per minute. As you can imagine, it takes a lot of power to process such a volume of information. However, the processors are not getting much faster. This occurs due to physical limitations. What is being done then mainly is to include more cores in the processors. In this way, we can take advantage of parallelism to accomplish more tasks in less time. In general, an exception to the benefits of using parallelism is in a SpiralNet and a SpiralNet core, since it is a high-demand environment where each thread can work one request. It is not recommended to occupy several threads for one HTTP request. If you have a long task to do, it is recommended to use background services or some serverless technology such as Azure Functions. In C Sharp, we mainly use two tools to work with parallelism, the Task Parallel Library and BlinkQ. The Task Parallel Library is a library that makes life easier for us when using parallelism in our programs. The TPL abstracts the low-level detail of threat handling, allowing you to run programs that run in parallel without having to work with these threads manually. On the other hand, BlinkQ or Parallel LinkQ is an implementation of LinkQ that allows us to work in parallel. For example, if in LinkQ we can filter the elements of an array, then with BlinkQ we can filter the same array in parallel. This allows us to use the cores of our processor to perform the evaluations of the elements of the array simultaneously. There are two forms of parallelism, data parallelism and task parallelism. In data parallelism, we have a collection of values and we want to use the same operation on each of the elements in the collection. As we said, an example would be to filter the elements of an array in parallel or find the inverse of each matrix in a collection. Task parallelism occurs when we have a set of independent tasks which we want to perform in parallel. An example would be if we want to send an email and an SMS to a user, since we can perform both operations in parallel if they are independent. Just because we can use parallelism doesn't mean we should. We will see later that there are times when it is better to not use parallelism, because in certain cases, using parallelism is slower than not using it.